Well, Cincinnati Navid and author out with part two of her children's book series. The Astra series follows the story of, a, of an airplane that was lonely, so lonely, uh, but now out in the busy skies of Hollywood. Oh my gosh, Astra's gone Hollywood. Here are the details. Julie Whitney. Julie, good morning. Hi, it's good to see you again, Mom. Good Thanks to for see having you. me back. You know what? When, when you were in here about a year ago, you said yes. the second one was either about to be finished or you were working on it, and now here it is. It is. Yeah, it takes about a year, a yeah. year. Picture books, a lot of hard work. People I would imagine like just getting everything sort of mapped. For, for people who don't know, though, let's go back to the first book. First book. Tell us where the idea came from, because yeah. just the, the whole genesis of the book series yeah, It's is become a series. I can't turn the writing brain off. So the first book, After the Lonely Airplane, came out um, after my husband lost his job flying this beautiful yeah. G100 Gulfstream jet. It was due to the pandemic, mm -hmm. May 5th of 2020. Um, I went with him to clean out the hangar and say goodbye to the plane, and I started crying, and I wow. felt really sorry for her. I thought, this beautiful, sleek Gulfstream jet is going to be sitting all alone in her hangar, rusting away and wondering where Captain Dan is and if she'll ever fly again. Isn't that sad? And that's how the book, that's so the book. I was overcome with emotion. I literally went home and started writing the book that night. Who would have thought? Would you have ever imagined that would be a thing in your life? No, because yeah. it's, you know, I still have my day job. It's not my full-time job, but... I just was so passionate about it and the world was on lockdown so I started writing and I've always been good at writing poems and rhymes for people for mm -hmm. their birthdays so I decided to write a rhyming book. What a good escape too. It you, was, do you it know really what I mean was. during the pandemic? Yes. And now Things are not so lonely anymore. For no. Astra, we have the second book. Tell me about it. At the end of the first book, Astra lands at her new home in Hollywood. And so the second book, Astra in Hollywood, which just came out yesterday, picks up where the first book leaves off. And Astra meets three new friends in her oh. glitzy Hollywood hangar. It has red carpets and chandeliers and you can see the Hollywood sign in the background but her three new friends are all quite different from her Lana the Learjet and oh. Helen the helicopter and Hank the cargo plane wait you're giving them voices now I don't know if you know you're doing that but you're giving them voices I now do that when, when, I read. when are we gonna see the Astro movie coming I out I have a streaming series written I've written 20 episodes I just need the right agent to find me and pitch wow. me to Nickelodeon and Disney have you really already done mm -hmm. those steps that's really but neat. it's a long shot uh, but anyway but hey you never I, know I have so many ideas about the speedy little airplane that always saves the day with her new friends. Well, and I, and I speaking of new friends, you're making all kinds of uh, <laughs> new friends. I can see yes. a, lo a lot of kids have sent I get you a lot in, of fan mail, uh, letters, and that yes. kind of thing. How how much does the reaction of kids mean to you when when you see them reach out in that way? That's why you do it. That's why you're a children's author. You don't become a children's author to make any money. Trust me. The rewards you get back from putting the smiles on kids' faces, yeah. getting letters from kids that want to be writers, illustrators, pilots. I hope I'm inspiring a few of them to do just that. It's just so rewarding. And you get to see sort of those eyes light up in person at some different events you're going to be doing around town. You've done a lot of these in the past yes. as well. Talk to me about some of that. So I'll be at Joseph Beth kicking things off this Saturday with a fun story time with Captain Dan. So you can ask him <laughs> all your questions like, what makes a plane fly? At 11 a.m., then I'm at the Book Matters in Milford on the 23rd of March at 10.30, and I'm at the Bookery in Columbia, Tusculum on April 13th at 10.30. You are keeping very busy. I well, am. Good luck with, with, with book two Thank and you. book three. Yes, Astra's Canine Rescue. Stay tuned. If you're a dog lover, you're going to love this one. You want a streaming series, add a dog. That's yes. what I say. Yes. Boom, done. Uh, all right, Julie, thanks for coming in. <laughs> it's great you. to see you. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.